Hi everyone, welcome to masterxl.net VLOOKUP example um, In this example we've got a table of some annual sales data split into each month Here we're going to work out the tax um, This is the gross sales 15% um, of these sales is actually tax and then we'll work out the net sales down the bottom here we will add a drop down for these months and in these cells we will add some VLOOKUP formulas to look up the sales figures to correspond with the month we select in here. So let's get started. The first thing we have to do is add the tax. Now this is a, <coughs> a simple formula, it's uh, equals, click on cell C2, and it's times 0 0.15, which will give us 15% <coughs> of our value here, and that's how much tax is in that value. Net sales is just a simple sum would be equals gross sales minus tax which gives us our net sales now we've left these relative references so we can just automatically fill them down which will give us our totals now we'll just add this in um, we're saying 15% for this tax but if you wanted to make the formula more dynamic, for example if the tax rate was to change or if it changes frequently, whatever you're trying to work out, then we can do the formula slightly different. If we add a, a box in here, tax rate, we'll just centre that off. and change the format of the cells to a percentage percentage to columns and we're going to change the formula slightly so we're going to say cell C2 times cell G2 now G2 we're going to lock we make an absolute cell reference because this cell will never move C2 is going to run down and it's going to become C3, C4 example but G2 will always be G2 so we'll, so we'll lock that off we we'll press enter now it's saying zero because we've no value in here but we'll just fill this formula down just now and every time we put a value in here you'll see the tax value changing so if we say 10% then we'll get 10% of this value here um, a bit more dynamic which means every time the tax rate changes or if you have variable tax rates then you can add that in here ok our next we're going to add data validation so we can just select a month rather than typing months in so click on cell B18 click on data validation data validation now what we want to add is a list the list we want will be January to December just press enter ok and you see we now have a list January to December this just allows us to select any month rather than having to go and type it in. So we now have our data validation, we've now got our tax and our net sales all calculating. We now want, if we select January here, we want our figures for January to automatically populate in these sales. To do that we use a VLOOKUP formula. Click in the formula bar, click 
click on VLOOKUP open brackets now it's asking us for the lookup value what value do we want to look up in this area we want to look up whatever value is in cell B18 so we've got our lookup value we're going to lock that because that will always be cell B18 and we say comma now it's asking us for table array where do you want to look up these values and we're going to select this range here and again we're going to lock it because that will always be that range now I want grass cells but I've selected the whole table and this is because we're going to fill this formula across to get our tax and our net sales. So the comma and now it's asking us for column index number. Our gross sales are in column two, so it's column one, two within a range. So we put two and we want an exact match so we just zero close brackets and enter and you can see it's now given us our gross sales. Now because we've locked these cells off we can just copy this across now you can see it is still the same figures but all we do is change the column number within the formula so tax is going to be column 3 column 2, 3 and press enter and you now have your tax showing up for January the same for net sales, this is going to be column 4 within a range so it's column 1, 2, 3, 4 net sales and press enter and we now have, if you look up for any value that we put in here so if we were to change the value to March we would now get figures displaying for March Quick note on VLOOKUP um, within a range, this for example, VLOOKUP can only look up columns to the right of the lookup cell. For example, we couldn't see it if we had a, quickly put a column in here, if we had a column in here and the value was January couldn't change this formula to say minus one, it won't go to the left, It'll, if you look up will always go to the right. To look up values going to the left we'll look at in another tutorial we use index and match for any situation where you need to look up values to the left. Okay that's it for just now, um, just a quick VLOOKUP example. Um, Hope to see you again soon.